Hi everyone and welcome to the Juno Sphere where we learn about a whole sphere of topics and how they are interconnected just as we are all interconnected. The purpose of this video is to enlighten and entertain you. Today we're looking at the Lover's Card focusing on the rich symbolism of the Rider Waite Smith Tarot Deck. The Lovers is one of the six cards associated with the month of June and the dates for this card are from May 21st to June 21st. Some of the keywords associated with the Lover's card are Trials overcome, choices offered, romance, inspiration, temptation, attraction, choices between two lovers, love and beauty. Princess Leia and Han Solo and Romeo and Juliet are classic examples of the Lover's card. Looking at the symbolism of this card, Archangel Raphael, the Angel of Air, gives the lovers his blessing. Archangel Raphael indicates inspiration from above, and so love at all levels, spiritual, physical, and emotional. He represents harmony with others. Raphael personifies the superconscious pouring down cosmic benediction on the two figures below. The clouds underneath Raphael represent a higher consciousness and the veil between heaven and earth. The man looks towards the woman and represents the conscious mind and reason. The man also represents the conscious mind in the earlier king's cards, the magician and the emperor cards, as well as the king standing in the chariot in key seven. The male or conscious mind looks to the female or subconscious mind which in turn gazes up at the angel or superconscious. Only through this step-by-step -step process can we reach our source and draw upon its power and inspiration. The woman represents the subconscious and emotion, so it is she who can look up to the archangel Raphael. The woman is the subconscious mind, as are the high priestess and the empress. Behind her is the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and it bears the fruits of the five senses. The serpent of sensation climbs up the tree, for temptation comes from the subconscious. The snake coiled in the tree also indicates development, wisdom gained through experience. The serpent in the tree, the kundalini force, gives them the power to create. The forbidden fruit comes from the tree of knowledge. Before Adam and Eve tested it, they were blissfully ignorant. Behind the man is a leafless tree bearing the trefoil flames of the twelve signs of the zodiac, each divided into three decans. It is also said that the twelve flames symbolize the body and the original planets. The mountain in this key indicates the fruitfulness of correct thought. The mountain is a sign of their common high point experiences of being on top of the world. The sun overhead has the same general significance as that behind the fool. It is the great light source, the dynamo of radiant energy from which all creatures derive their personal forces. Here it is yellow or golden instead of white as it appears on the fool card to show that it is our day star, the actual physical sun, from whence we draw not only our energy and life, but also, says ageless wisdom, potential consciousness. The sun is not merely a center of physical force, a thing in the sky. It is the body of a being. The radiant sun is a symbol of God, as well as the burning rays of reality and conscious awareness. It is the symbol of truth, revelation, and understanding. Raphael serves as a buffer between the unwitting couple and the blinding light of the sun. The Garden of Eden, like all gardens, symbolizes order and control, protection, refuge, rest, and reflection. In conclusion, as long as we keep searching for our better half, we are in danger of cutting ourselves in two. Instead, focus on finding your inner lover, your inner soulmate, which results in finding your Earthmate. Please check out the companion video titled The Lover's Card Astrology and General Information for further guidance. 
I will be so grateful if you will like, subscribe, share, and comment on my videos. And I'm very thankful for all of you who have already done so. Thanks for tuning in, and I invite you to tune into the Junosphere again soon. Bye!